So this is KerbalMaps.com. It's a very good website done by this guy, Joel, Joel Pedraza. And he's done an amazing job. This is a map of Kerbin. So you can zoom in and get all the details. So this is as close as you can get. But what is great is this is just wonderful for finding Easter eggs. So I'll zoom back out. So you can put on different biomes. You can see the different heights of things. All the different uh, space centers. So we've got three space centers. We've got anomalies, points of interest. So you can see here we've got the highest point and the lowest point, which is very cool. So what we want though is we want anomalies because we're going to go looking for Easter eggs. So KSP is down here for reference. This is it down here. This is probably one of the monoliths, but more interesting stuff. They're over here. So what we've got down here, this is the pyramids. So if we have a little look closer at this, we can see it's in this mountain range and it's probably one of the easier ones to get to actually. Now if not far north is up here. I'll zoom out again. So KSP is over here, pyramids down here, and this is the second space uh, spaceport I would call it I guess. So it's got a launch site, a big satellite dish, and a, a hangar for building rockets in. So it's down here in this beautiful little valley and it's very cool to go visit that. Then up here in the, the Arctic, this is where the UFO is, which is half crashed into the, the side of a hill. So very much a cool place to go as well and I would recommend it. So we've got the UFO up here, we've got the second Kerbal Space, Day, uh, space Center, or I don't know, it could be a military space center for all I know. And um, we've got the pyramids down here. And you can see there's other things you can go and find out and explore and see what they are. But the great thing about this is it doesn't it doesn't just have Kerbin. It has all the moons, so you've got Kerbin there, you can go to Mun. So you've got the different Easter eggs and stuff there. It's cool, but it does actually look like the moon. It's pretty sweet. Anyway though, the, probably one of the more interesting ones to go to is Juna. And it's got a few, but this one is probably the, the real one you want to go looking at. So it is the face on Juna. So it's in this crater and it's connected by this dry river bed and this flat plane out here. So it's quite easy to see from kind of orbit. It's one of the only the one of the only craters that's by itself. So it's quite easy to spot. It looks a lot smaller though when you're actually flying over it. And then it is the face on Juna is just here. So it's very very easy to get to. If you come with a plane, some sort of device for flying, you can get to it by flying. But you can also get there with a rover. So it's probably one of the, the cooler places to go and it's pretty epic. I really love Juno, so I'd recommend going and see the face on Juno. So yeah, this is Kerbal, KerbalMaps.com And again, it's done by jo Joel Pedraz. Pedraza. And yeah, it is really, really, really good. I would recommend check it out, you can see all the different places you can go and it is just wonderful. And look, there's no easter eggs here, maybe you can find one.